There are a lot of Call of the Wild guides out there that are just way too long. Guides that cover only one species, or guides that talk about loadouts specifically, or one specific aspect of one part of a map or something on Call of the Wild. So I'm making this series. Guides don't need to be 20, 25 minutes. They need to be between five and eight minutes, and that should cover everything on an entire map, which is exactly what these guides are going to do. We got quick guides coming for every map in Call of the Wild, starting with Rancho Del Rio and working our way all the way down to Hirschfeld. These guides will come with a color-coded hotspot map that will cover every species on every given map map in the Hunter Call of the Wild. They will also come with an integrity chart that will show you what you can and can't use for each species on said map. I hope you guys enjoy these videos and find them helpful. If you do, please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of awesome content coming on the way for you guys. Feel free to join the Discord where you can download the hotspot maps and the integrity charts. The link is down below in the description, but without further ado, baby, let's jump into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to quick guide number two of the series. We're in T. Aoroa. Basically what we're doing, we're working our way back from the newest maps to the oldest maps. So we're gonna do Rancho, T. Aoroa, Silver Ridge Peaks, Quattro Colinas, all the way back to Hirschfelden. But welcome to this one. Welcome to another quick guide that's not gonna take 25 minutes because that's not a guide and that shouldn't be a thing. And uh, you don't have time for that and neither do I. But anyways, let's jump straight into it. First thing I wanna do is throw up the hotspot map for you guys. This covers all the species. This is a color code map you can find this map in the discord and download it completely for free from my discord you can see the drink times posted on the map there and all the hotspots for every single species i will go over some specific things about the map and about certain species at the end of this video but first there is your hotspot map for tiaroa come to the discord download it use it as a reference when you're hunting this map it's going to help you a ton in finding your diamonds and rares second thing we want to talk about as usual loadout so let's go in let's take a look at my loadout. So, T. Aoroa, the biggest animal in T. Aoroa is a class six. That is the red deer for them and for all of the class four animals. I'm using the M1. You don't have to use the M1. You can use the M1 30-06. You can use the 30-06 Eckers. You can go with the 303 British that actually comes with T. Aoroa. You can use the 6.5 Martinson as well, or you can use the seven millimeter. If you're just leveling, the seven millimeter is gonna be huge, uh, especially on this map. You can hunt four of the species on this map, four of the eight species with the seven millimeter, the red deer, the fallow deer, the feral pigs, and the seeker deer as well. Now on this map, I carry the 243 just because I'm used to the 243 and I usually use it but on this map you've got two class three animals you've got feral goats and you've got chamois and you don't have a class two animal so you can carry the Mosin instead of, of the 243 it's gonna be basically exactly the same thing you can pick between the Mosin and the 243 here um, the 223 is also an option I wouldn't go with that option I would not use the 223 uh, for the chamois or for the feral goats, uh, the 243 is going to be your best option here, or the Mosin, and that's going to be for the feral goats and for the chamois. Other than that, we've got the European rabbits and Merriam turkeys. For them, I carry the Virant 22 Classica. Now, you can carry something like a shotgun for them as well if you want. Um, you can carry a bow and use the 300 grain arrows. There are d many different options for class one animals. I just stick with the 22. Sometimes, if I'm feeling fancy, I'll take out a shotgun, uh, whatever. And then I carry something else like for fun, since we. We only need three rifles on this map to cover all the species. Right now I've got the air rifle, you can take a bow, you can take a shotgun, uh, a handgun, whatever you want to do. As far as collars, I've got the wild boar collar, I've got the antler rattler, I've got the red deer collar, and I've got the turkey collar. So the wild boar collar, we've got that for the feral pigs. Antler rattler for the fallow deer, the red deer collar for the red deer, and for the seek deer as well. The red deer collar can be used for the seek deer, don't forget about that. You can also use the buck snort wheeze if you want to, I just use the red deer collar. And then we've got the turkey mouth collar, obviously, for the turkeys and first aid kits in case we fall or something tries to kill us boom that's it man what are we friggin we're like a few minutes into this and we've covered so much oh my gosh this will not be a 25 minute guide isn't that awesome and on that note here is the integrity chart that i have put together for t Aroa. i will have one of these up in the discord for every single one of these guides as soon as i make the guide the chart will be going into the discord so you can go get this one from the discord go into the call of the wild integrity charts channel and download this for yourself and use it for reference boom moving on so let's just bring up the map we'll talk a little bit about some things so turkeys all along the river as it says on the hotspot map I didn't make any circles on the map for turkeys but all along the river I like to follow the north side of the river and just kind of follow this road and the surrounding fields especially when you get down here you're gonna see lots of turkeys but basically all along 
all along the top of the river here. Um, you're gonna have just a ton of turkeys. They are on the on the other side as well, so keep your eye out looking across the river. But I find that they are mostly on the north side of the river. Um, fallow deer. I have managed to somehow pull nine diamond fallow deer off of TRO without ever grinding them. Uh, they've got some major hot spots. This one being probably the main one, but the river is really good too. Don't underestimate uh, the river for fallow deer, especially the north side. But you should have a couple zones down on this side too, and they the zones work their way all the way out to about here. So that's got to be part of your fallow deer hunt. This is another really good spot, and I really love this lake, and actually this lake as well for the fallow deer. Um, this lake up here, you're gonna want this tent. I believe there is a mission that unlocks an outpost somewhere in this area, but unless you've done that mission, you're not having an outpost anywhere closer than this up to this lake. And this lake is really good for chamois and uh, feral goats as well. Seek deer over on this section, as you can see on the hotspot map. Uh, a lot of feral pigs over here as well. Red deer really, really spread out. Um, I did add these two lakes to the hotspot map because they're both really good for red deer these two lakes are fantastic for red deer and so are these lakes down here but the river right along this section of the river huge for red deer that's where you want to be hunting them it is a bit of an evening hunt you're gonna want your night vision stuff for the red deer hunt in the evening i believe they start drinking at 1800 also want to point out that this spot that i that i mentioned is really good for fallow deer it's also really really good for feral pigs i usually start my hunt here uh, from this tent for feral pigs. I usually will hunt here first and then I'll make my way down to this lake that is also a huge hotspot for feral pigs and then basically it's along the coast down uh, down in the two basically bottom corners. That All of this down here is huge for feral pigs. There's tons of them. Uh, and then you're gonna find some around this area as well. Look how quick we did it, baby! We did it quick! And it, it took, what, five, six, seven minutes? This isn't gonna be a very long video. I don't know why there's guys out there that take, tw that are 20, 25 minutes long. It's so crazy. Nobody has that kind of time. You need quick guides for every map, and that's why we're doing this series. If you guys have any questions about TRO, anything that I haven't covered, leave it down in the comments. I will be sure to answer it. Uh, but that's it. If this guide helps you, let me know down in the comments. Drop a like on it as well. We're getting super close to 10,000 subs. I I think we're about 60 subs away from 10,000 at this very moment and that is incredible 24-hour stream coming at 10,000 subs I appreciate you guys so much subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we got the most amazing community on YouTube and on Twitch and a discord you guys are the best I appreciate everything thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one